Just stumbled across this exhibition here. What's your name? Michael Albert. This guy's a real artist because look, not, not an easy hanging stuff everywhere and signing stuff. He's got a book. We noticed you had a book. This was published in 2008. There he is. There's Michael. Looking to be suited. You can't be an artist unless you actually make art. Yeah. So I began drawing and eventually I started making collages out of all sorts of materials that I couldn't think of anything else to do with. That I felt kind of bad about throwing them in the garbage. Like Frosty's boxes. Like beautiful <laughs> Frosted Flakes boxes. I started cutting them up and I realized that even if they're all broken up into pieces, you can instantly know what it is because it's such a well-known image. It's sort of like looking at it through a kaleidoscope or through a bro broken mirror or something like that. Now, here's an interesting corporate angle here. You can get all these famous brands, fracture their logos and their identities and see if people recognize them. What a great idea. And then they should pay you big bucks and for the hanging out. Big bucks, art, I don't know about that. Then I started taking many packages, not just one, and creating these larger themed pieces. This one, for example, is the preamble to the Constitution of the U.S. <gasps> We the people, in order to form a more perfect union. Have you ever seen Schoolhouse Rock? I have not. I'm Australian. Come on. <laughs> well, in any case, yes. this is a very famous thing in American uh, history. Uh huh. And I had a lot of fun creating it out of all sorts of packages, from candy, cereal boxes, cookies, soda, every all the things I don't eat. I think the corporate people might love you because you see, it's like recognize my brand. Where's Wally? Where's Baldo? I, Where, where's it is my homage to everyone. You know, maybe Andy Warhol did his major homage to Campbell's Soup, but I guess mine is to everyone, not just one company. This is the Highline Gallery in Chelsea. We're actually on the ground, under the Highline, and these are all your, uh, what do you call them? Cintergraphs. Cintergraphs. This is a brand new process. Yes. I have a collector friend who's actually a sign printer. Right. And these are a brand new sign material that does not deteriorate in the weather. And it's beautiful uh, archival inks that are coated with UV coating so that even outside in the sun, they will not fade. 14 of my greatest hits, digitized them, and then had them printed on a 40 by 60 inch scale. This is about 10 years of work. I could, to each one takes several months to create. This one is a collection of every animal I could find in every package, all organized together. And I did it when I was rereading uh, the book Animal Farm with, my, with uh, one of my daughters. I bet your kids love you. Look at that. I mean, oh, no, they, they no, hate me. Well, they're teenagers. Oh. Interesting that people love these characters, but then don't want to buy them. No, I don't That's really. Very strange. I, I don't really. I don't really like him. I just know him, which means I guess that is successful. He's very brand. famous. He yeah. is. And I look, want to be as famous as the guy called Gecko. Well, you're on the Chelsea Gallerist the blog, so yeah. you're on your way. Now, look, I just noticed there's a Kellogg's cornflakes. That is. That's oh, a, no. Yeah. Yes. That's this section is the birds and the bees. Oh, really? And these are the elephants. And this section is lions and tigers and bears. Oh, so svelte and surreptitiously moved from one genus to the next. Oh, Dog. this one has 49 little hidden animal messages in it. Really? Like, like ribbit, ribbit or sounds that frogs make. And Giddy. holy cow or nay for horses, Bench. all sorts of stuff. Well, There's some literary references like Moby Dick by the whale. Wow. And look, there's the, there's the uh, Chinese dragon. Oh yeah. This is the dragon and Loch Ness monster and dinosaur section. Oh my gosh. And there's I Nemo. Wasn't, I wasn't sure what Chewbacca was, so I put him in the corner there. I kind of thought it was a man in a, in a suit, but I'm not sure. The thing that really inspires me is to pick subjects that I can connect with people on. So if I pick a subject that everyone knows what it is, at the bare minimum, there's the connection. So for example, Shakespeare. You know, not everybody is like a Shakespeare aficionado, but I would say there's nobody that hasn't heard of to be or not to be. Here's a subject that almost everyone's gonna look at and say, oh, I know what that is. And there's the connection. If it was some obscure passage, people would walk right by it. But, and even if they're not into Shakespeare, even if they're a child, I was, I've been doing a lot of workshops at schools, libraries, and museums where I show my work and then we all make collages because it's really just a simple cut and paste.
taking all the packages that we all throw away all the time and turn it into art or do whatever you like. This is what I like to do. And so for a young kid to say, Wow, Shakespeare, I didn't know that was so interesting. But Michael Albert spent six months working on this, so maybe there's something to it, you know? That's a far, far better thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just the amount of effort put into it would lead one to think, well, what is it about this subject that would make someone spend that much time on it? It's kind of an irony, because you've got it in a kind of a pop art disposable medium, yet well, you're actually in, um, immortalizing it. I love all these things. I want to collect them, but how do you collect them without being a crazy person, you know? Turn it into an actual artwork and then there it is. It's all there. A recycler's dream. And this is something for the numbers people. Accountants, give this to your accounting friend, right? This is the first 777 digits of the number pi. 3.141. How do you make sure you didn't kind of skip one or get it wrong? Did you have a chart you crossed everyone off carefully? I'm and waiting meticulous? for somebody to show me the mistake. He's going to come along and go, this, this, this is inter interposed. Yeah, <laughs> I hope not. That would I would really be depressed if that happened. Well, just uh, just you have to lift it up with the exacto knife and glue a new one back down. Wouldn't That's you? true. I can you just see? fix it like that. This is a Manhattan street map. Oh. It's this. It's Manhattan where I spelled out all the streets, sections of town. Like for example, here we are in Chelsea. Chelsea. And then. And then Greenwich Village, and then Central Park, and all the museums. So. You could offer this to tourists and see if they can get around town. <laughs> that would be a great idea. This heart, this star over here, yeah. is the star that's on the top of the tree at Rockefeller Center at Christmas time. Oh. Here's another one, the tow pound. If you get your car towed, that's where it goes. See? Incredible. Thank so you, you. you could spend hours looking at this and then discovering new things. I hope you things. could at least spend a fraction of the time it took me to make it. Oh my god. Danbury, where's Wilton? No, my friend lives in Wilton. Wilton is, is somewhere there. It's Def uh, Reading, yeah. Mill Plain, Georgetown. No. Wilton is right here. Now, is it actually geographically organized? It is. It, it is. is. Oh my god. Because you come up Greenwich, and then here's the coast that goes all the way to Rhode Island. But if you go straight up towards Hartford, this is if you go to Vermont, Massachusetts. You know, this is where. Um, Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun are. Mm. You know? There's a lot Amazing. of fun to make these things. The this is, this is my favorite, actually. Four this scores is Lincoln's and seven Gettysburg years. Address. This took five months to do. Do you go to art school or you self-taught? No, I went to business school. I have a juice business. A juice? Which surreal. Really? Yeah, it's uh, featuring this character on the label. Sir Rio is that his is name. That is really cool. So besides doing this art, I started this juice business and I make juice and it's really deal. Cool. Really impressive. You look sound like you have a lot of fun. I try.